Still too much. much water, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, mate. Gina, work harder. Work faster. You have the right consistency? No, still no. Still too wet, huh? Yeah, still too wet. She's still too wet. Normally I like wet. Gaat niet zo hard? Takkele. Of zou het aan het boren liggen? The battery is dead. You have the right consistency? Now I do. Great. Yes. Is this one too big, Stevo? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh. And then when you try it the second time, it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. That's a firm sheet. There we go. There you go. So, um, ah, I got a coffee. Um, although I don't show it every time, I uh, drink enough coffee. Thanks for the concern. Um, as you just saw from time lapse, we, uh, I, I suppose you saw it, still need to do the editing. Uh, we laid this uh, roll of bricks, but um, yeah, sometimes things go wrong, right? And that was the moment he realized we f up. Uh, Alex was just here from uh, Quinta Fonta Pipa, Quinta Fonta da Pipa, and we can borrow his uh, cement mixer. And uh, he casually uh, noted that the Portuguese sometimes soak, or every time soak the, the bricks before laying them. And uh, yeah. So after uh, Alex left, we didn't soak anything. Uh, after Alex left, we uh, tried to push the bricks and they fell off uh, immediately. <laughs> so uh, yeah, fucked up. Uh, so yeah, uh, not good. <laughs> we, uh, we took them all off and now we're uh, soaking the bricks. Now we're soaking the bricks first. And uh, yeah, we already used a little bit more wet concrete. And it's stupid because uh, I read this uh, somewhere or saw a video about this a couple of months back that they soak the bricks before they lay them. So yeah, um, starting over. You win some, you learn some. That should be a, a new t-shirt. <laughs> Either you win <laughs> or yeah, at least you learn. Uh, getting back to work. It's too wet. You're wet also. I'm wet as, as well, yeah. Wet from the sweat.
Good morning, everybody. Um, where's the sun? Nice and early. <laughs> um, we're gonna, well, we're actually not gonna hoist. Uh, Stefano thought that we can just uh, lift it up and put it on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to try that uh, if it doesn't work we're going to try my method <laughs> but yeah I don't know what I'm doing so let's trust on this guy for now <laughs> uh, let's get it up there Oh, we got it this far. <laughs> I think we got It's almost level. It's almost level. Okay, we'll leave it like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, we thought these walls were a lot uh, lower, but maybe that was a uh, optical illusion. Guess so. So, uh, but, but we're first gonna fill in uh, these holes. Maybe make a little bit of a cement base. And then... Uh, Put the beam on and, and we can put uh, put in some extra brick or a concrete if we need to go uh, even higher. But it's just that we need uh, the 15% decline of the of the roof for the water. So it doesn't really matter how high this beam uh, is, but um, yeah, how steep it goes down. Uh, let's try that. It's a very quiet building site. It's uh, seven o'clock in the morning. That's fucking shite. Very early, very quiet in the ghost town. Except for these boys who are going to work. Uh, well, I'm still drinking my coffee. So uh, yesterday we had a day off, but uh, at, in the evening at eight o'clock, we still decided to uh, see how the beam would end up if we uh, put it nearly in the right place. Um, yeah, we need a little extra height here um, because it's not completely level. And then we're gonna put a layer of bricks here and make sure that everywhere this is the same size. Uh, that's gonna be a challenge. Try to make the this a little bit level. Hey, Stevo. Hi. And then we're gonna put these ones on, and like this. And then uh, the variable is uh, how far this stone is put the, on the wall uh, compared. Compared to uh, the ridge beam, 
so the, the distance is always the same although this wall is not always uh, the same distance from this ridge beam because it uh, it moves <laughs> along the line so yeah this is going to be in a sort of a straight line and then we're going to start on this side like this and end up on the other side like probably this because the wall is not straight at all <laughs> hmm. do you see that so um the wall is um how do you say this <laughs> well not straight at all um <laughs> On this side, the house is uh, a lot wider. This is because uh, probably this is the extension they built. And it's going uh, like that. So here we are uh, one centimeter off the wall. And at the same point here, we're 10 centimeters off the wall. So if I extend that line to the rest of the house, I'm gonna end up out there with 20 centimeters difference. So yeah, the problem is that these bricks, they will only go out maybe like 10 centimeters to get enough, uh, to let it hold enough on this side. But yeah, we have to go uh, 20 centimeters somewhere over there, uh, there. So when I'm doing the rest of the, the roof, but um, we need to take that in account now. Because yeah, I need to know uh, how to continue this uh, straight line. Um, so I consulted some people. <laughs> um, the Portuguese way is just to um, get a bigger brick. So these they also have in uh, 50 centimeters length. This is 30, uh, 45 centimeters actually. So then it could uh, extend uh, till here and uh, <clears throat> still have uh, this extra space, uh, this extra length to uh, let it hold here. So yeah, it's a little bit of a puzzle. Uh, the ridge beam is exactly in the middle because here we have a... Um, Wait just a sec, mate. Almost finished. Um, this side is um, on both sides the same distance from here to the wall. And this also is the same distance. The, this side. And this is hard. <laughs> uh, well, this side. So uh, we both have uh, 10 centimeters off on both sides. So this is in the middle. That's good. Um, yeah, now continuing uh, to lay these bricks along this nice line here. Yeah, and then uh, when I start with this, I need uh, the bigger bricks. So that should be sorted. Let's see if we can get it fixed like that. Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal project. If you want to follow the Portugal project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook. Or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at the Portugal project.